Hey guys, happy Father's Day. Uh, we are filming it this morning and then hopefully we'll have it posted today. So hopefully it is actually Father's Day. Uh, as of right now, we are filming on Father's Day. So happy Father's Day. Uh, if you are a father, then thank you for watching. Uh, if you uh, if you have a father or you have a husband who is a father and you have children and everybody knows a father, I wish them all the best happy Father's Day ever. Sorry, that was, I made that weird, I, I apologize. Anyway, today we are doing something that uh, I wanted to get up really quickly because I actually wasn't expecting to receive it as, as fast as it came. But last week, I think maybe Tuesday, I'm trying to remember, when did I order this, Nikki? I'm gonna have my phone, hold on. Pause for technical difficulties. <laughs> It was June 16th. June 16th, they announced it, which would have been Tuesday. Yes, I doubted myself. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, so Tuesday, June 16th, nine in the morning, Tart sent out the email saying that they were doing their custom build it yourself kits. They were originally, I think, going to do it like two weeks ago. And then with everything going on with the Black Lives Matter movement, they decided to postpone it, which I really liked. Um, I, I thought that it was a very appropriate thing to do because the, the dialogue was just not right at the time. And they had a good message with pushing it back and everything. So, um, but they didn't really, I never saw anything again where they said like, hey, we're extending it to like this day or we're gonna, it was just like that morning, I just got an email that said, hey, it's, today's the damn day. And I was like, oh, okay, we're doing this. So if you don't know what the custom kit is, basically twice a year, Tarte sends out an email and they allow you to build your own kit. It comes with seven makeup items in a bag, I believe. Sorry, seven total, including the bag. So six makeup items and a bag, but you get to choose different things. You always get like a foundation and something related to the eyes and a mascara and, and a lip color and all that kind of good stuff. So I've done it in the past. I think I've done at least three since they started doing them probably like four or five years ago. But I have, it's been a really long time since I've done it. Like it's probably been at least a year and a half to two years since I've ordered my last one. We were definitely living in Wilmington and we've been back in Charlotte now for a year and a half. So definitely was uh, was a while ago when I did it. I've, you know, kind of resisted doing it, but I figured it'd be a fun thing to unbox. And um, they actually had a ton of options this time. So normally what I do is I build the kit and then I hem and haw about it all day and then stuff sells out. And I said, I'm not doing that this year. I'm gonna buy my first kit early. So I bought it like nine in the morning. And then I went back and bought a second kit because I have one, no self-control. And two, I really did like the variations that they had. And they offered my favorite foundation from them in this kit, which is normally, I think full price, like $40. Uh, I think for a while it was on sale for $25. The kit itself is $63 with all of the items. And I was like, you know, I want this foundation anyway, I'm out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and order two, get that foundation and then get a bunch of other stuff and some cute bags. So that is a long backstory. If you're still with us, God bless you. Uh, but other than that, let's jump into the actual products. Basically the way you go through it is like you start with foundation. So they had a bunch of different options. I know they had like the Amazonian like pot foundation. They had the Amazonian stick foundation. They had the shape tape matte and the hydro. The matte is the one that I love. Um, they had another one too that I actually do have from Tarte. I bought it from Ulta a while ago and I like that one. I just like this one better. Um, but I went with the Tarte Double Duty Beauty uh, Shape Tape Matte Foundation. They had the shade Fair Sand. I think it's a little lighter than the one that I am used to buying. They only had, I think, 15 options, which is a big complaint that most people have with this particular foundation formula. There are not a good variety of foundation shades in it. Um, like I said, for this particular one, I think they have 15. For the Hydro one, I think they only have 11. Obviously, that is nowhere near enough to cover everybody's skin tones. Um, I think most of the the really inclusive foundations probably offer like 45 to 50 different shades. And there's still, I'm sure some that have more than variations that are not represented. So yeah, that's definitely um, a, a little bit of a downside. Some of their other foundations have uh, more shade varieties. I know their Hydro one, no, not the Hydro one, the um, Double Duty Beauty, I think is the name of that foundation that was offered. And I think they had at least like 25 shades with that, which is better, not great, but better. Um, so yeah, so anyway, rambling, but I love this one because it comes with the wand, like what you get with the Shape Tape foundation or concealer. There are very few foundations that I wear that are liquid that I don't set with a powder foundation or some sort of a setting powder on top of it. I normally still would anyway, but there are two that I have used in my life that I, if I don't do it that day, it will not be an issue later on, um, or it won't look sticky or it won't look wet or it won't look gross. Um, or it won't look patchy, which is, a, is an issue I find with a lot of foundations. It is this one, the matte, Shape Tape Foundation, and it is the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables one. The Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables ones, if we wanna talk about shade issues, they only have seven, so that's a huge issue. 
but I, that's a different story for a different time. So that is why I opted to get this. Um, and anyway, so foundation, check. The next thing we got to choose was a blush or a face powder or something, face color, bronzer, something like that. So I opted to go with the Double Duty Beauty Blush and Glow in the shade Rose Gold. They had a peach and they had the Rose Gold shade and I just really fell in love with this. They had they had their Amazonian um, blushes. They had a couple different bronzers. They had, um, I think, fake lashes maybe in this one too. They had a lot of different options to choose from. Like I said, really, the variations they offered this time was really, really good. Um, but this is the pink uh, blush shade, and then this is the highlight shade. Very subtle, but really beautiful. And I like the idea that both are compact, so if you're traveling, then you can have like two in one, basically. So that's why I opted to get that one. And then they went on to the eyes, I believe. I'm trying to go in order of like when we built the kit. So with this, I got a palette. I was really excited. They had a lot of palette options this time. Um, some of them I already had, so I didn't really even think about them. Like they had the Sunnies one, I think, with the little sunglasses on it. I have, I have that palette, um, so I didn't get it, but I thought it was a great option for the box. If, if you didn't have it, I thought it was a good choice. Um, this one is the Fall Feels. So basically I think what they did was they took a lot of palettes that they had um, from past seasons and they threw it in the box because they were trying to clear out inventory anyway. I love it, it got me a palette, so I was not complaining about that. But it's this really cute, I'll show you guys, it's like a felty like sweater type material, really cute little plaid. And then you open it up and you've got a good sized little mirror up there. And then you've also got, it looks like seven eyeshadow colors and you could use it as a blush. I think they call it a blush. I probably use it as more like a blending shade than a blush because it's a little light feeling. And my little green shade is kind of bally. Like it's, it looks like, you know, like with a sweater thing, it looks like when you got like little fuzz balls on it. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, I wasn't gonna complain about it. It doesn't look like it's messed up. It just looks like once again, like a little manufacturer's issue, but really pretty colors and I'm excited to play around with it. I haven't, I know since I've started, or since I last ordered, I haven't seen them do palettes in this, the, the custom kit. So I was really excited to see that this time. I'm sure they probably implemented that a, a little while ago and I just didn't choose to take advantage of the offer, but this time we did. So I was like, hell yeah. The next thing was the lip colors. They had a thousand different choices for lip colors and lip products. They had uh, lipsticks, they had lip glosses, they had lip pencils and, everything you could possibly imagine. Um, I went with, there's two that I really like formula wise from them. This is the dry matte lip paint and it is a gloss. I went with neutral colors. In fact, the two I got almost are identical in, in terms of shade, even though there are different styles of, of product and um, colors technically, but still. So it's just a really nice, nice little neutral shade. And I opted for neutrals. I always wanna buy the really pretty like vibrant reds and the purples and the deep colors like that, but I just don't use them enough. So I was like, let's do something that I'll use more regularly. So that's why I got this one. Um, and then the final products, uh, they had a bunch of different mascaras to, uh, to be included. And uh, I opted for this one, which is the Lights, Camera, Lashes in just like a special collector's design. Um, it's like from their mermaid collection and it's teal and glittery. And I was like, uh, yes, I love the Lights, Camera, Lashes. All of their mascaras that I've used, I've actually really enjoyed. But um, just because this was fancy and this is like my original go-to one, I opted to get this one. Okay, so the final makeup product that was included in the kits was the Don't Hate Hydrate Oil-Free Moisturizer. They had, it was a lot of like, for this particular collection of stuff, there's a lot of brushes, a lot of sponges, a lot of, um, they had like an oil with like some shimmer in it. They had a self tanner. And I actually got excited because I thought this was a primer. And then my mom, I, I had already ordered my two boxes and my mom went and ordered a box. And then she was like, oh, they had a moisturizer. And I was like, no, they had a primer. And she was like, no, it was a moisturizer. And I was like, oh crap, it was a moisturizer. That's fine. I have been using face creams a ton lately because with COVID and everything, and, and I go to work in the middle of the night, I come home and I shower, um, which I used to be really bad about. I used to not shower as regularly, which is gross, but you, you know, I am now, so I'm showering more often. And because of that, I wash my face more regularly. And so uh, before I do my makeup now, I have been really trying to actively do more skincare, masks and, and deep cleanses and, um, moisturizers and eye creams and things that are going to hopefully keep my skin from looking like a, you know, a leather chair at the age of 30. So yeah, so I went with this. Uh, I was thinking it was a primer when I ordered it, but I'm actually really excited about it and it's a really nice size. So yes, 
Um, the final thing is the bag. I'm gonna take it out of the little plastic wrap so you guys can actually see it. Loved it. This was my favorite from the uh, from the get-go. By the time my mom went to order it, it was sold out. So I feel like everybody kind of agreed that this was one of the best bags that they had. Um, but they had like a lot of, they had like six bags too, which they normally don't. So I was really felt like their variety was just great, but it's a good size little, my mom was like, you could use it as a purse. And I was like, then I probably wouldn't. She's like, but you could. And I was like, would you use it as a purse, mom? And she was like, well, I don't carry small purses. So I would not use it as a purse, but I get what she's saying. Cause it really is just a really cute little design. Um, I love it. I think it's precious. Uh, so yeah, I was excited about that one. The second box will do much quicker cause I've already explained to you all the different varieties of stuff. So for the first one, I got the, uh, the same foundation. The second thing I opted to get a highlight palette and I almost didn't get it. It was available from the get-go. I almost didn't get it. It's the Fresh and Frosted because when you're looking at it on the computer, it's so hard to tell how big it is. So I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be like a mini one because I've got like this cute little mini one from Pure Cosmetics. And I was like, it's probably gonna be like that. But going back and buying the second time, I was like, no, pretty colors. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I love highlighters. I love palettes. Why not? It is much bigger than I thought. And then you open it up and holy cow, those are some gorgeous shades. Super neutral. You got a white, you got a deeper gold, and then you've got like a rose gold or a champagne color. Beautiful. I was so excited. This was the one product that I almost didn't get. And then when I opened it up, I was like, thank God I opted to get that one because that is a great deal. That made this box, the second box, actually my favorite because I liked the highlight palette better than I liked the eyeshadow palette. So yeah, I was really excited to see that. The next thing was the eye section and the palette um, that I had gotten. Obviously I didn't want more than one of those. All the other palettes really didn't either interest me or I already had them. And then, you know, there's some fake lashes and stuff like that and I just don't wear fake lashes. So I opted to go with, I truly, truly love liquid glitter eye shimmers. So I went with the Sea Glass Eyeshadow in the shade Sandy Beach, I think is what it's called. So it looks like it, it's blue. If you guys know me, I don't wear blue eyeshadows ever, but I've kind of started to try and use them more and I've been kind of happy with how the, the looks have been turning out. Um, and I don't, I, all, I always buy like coppery tones and pink tones and peach tones. And so I have a whole bunch and like, Five of them, not from Tarte, from other companies, but five of them are pink shade or some variation of pink. And then I've got like one gold. And I was like, you know what? No, no, buy a blue, buy, do it, buy a blue. So I bought a blue and here we are. But yeah, so really pretty, 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 pretty. I'm actually gonna do just like a little swatch. Oh yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one, I promise guys. I won't just let it sit and waste. Look at how pretty that is, gorgeous. Very, like, it just very mermaid vibes is what I got, which makes sense because this is from their C collection. So uh, I love it, I'm so, so excited. Next, we had the mascara, same thing. Uh, lots of options of mascara. Was really happy to um, to see that they had such a good variety, but still went with the same thing because I just love the, the case of it. So yeah. Um, the next thing is, is the lip color for this one. I got the lip paint um, and this one is uh, in the shade Bestie. And like I said, really similar color, really similar, similar color, but different formula. So I just wanted stuff that when I grab it, it's gonna be much easier to, to do my lips. Cause a lot of times I love the bright colors. I just don't wear them as much. So I was trying to be good. I just reorganized my makeup and I realized how many reds and stuff I have that I very rarely use. So I was like, I gotta be good this time. So same moisturizer. And then this bag I opted to get, I think they called it like their shimmer bag or something like that. It is precious, really good size, blue on the inside. It's got like that double, like the reversible, which like, oh, I could play with this for years. I could sit there and do this just all the time. Just never stop. Love it. I love it. I love it. Why are we still here? Love it. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I was excited. I almost got the animal print bag again. I almost did that, but I was like, no, 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 no. Get something different. There's like seven options. And so then I, I got this one and I was like, I think it's the reversible thing. And then it was, and I was like, yes, yes. yes. So um, the last thing they do always give you like some sort of like a freebie when you're checking out. And so I opted to get um, two of their brow testers um, for the sheer purpose of even if I don't use the colors, I, I wanted the brushes. I want the little eyeshadow or the eyebrow brushes. I, they got like a nice little point. And my benefit one, which I had for like five years, was finally um, thrown away because it just was bad. And I haven't bought another one that I like yet. Um, so yeah, so I was like, whatever, even if they're mini, maybe 
maybe I'll realize I love it. Maybe I'll buy one from Tarte. So yes. So that is the the, the bundle sets. A lot of rambling today. I'm sorry. Like I said, mindset. I was just like blah 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 blah. blah. But here we are. I know sometimes I've seen like you know people kind of do like are these kits worth it? Are they a good deal? I love Tarte. Tarte is one of my favorite brands. Uh, the only what I would call like higher end makeup company that I've actually done a full face look with because I have all of the products necessary to do it. A lot of other brands I really love, but when I think about it, I'm like, I don't really have bra products from them or I don't really use their foundations or stuff like that. Tarte is one that I just like all around, all over the board. Um, I like what they stand for. They're always trying to do healthy, organic products, vegan, cruelty-free. It's very important um, to see a brand uh, really trying to, to implement natural um, aspects and really, you know, utilize things like, you know, the Amazonian clays and the Dead Sea and all of the things that they have um, done with their different collections. So I truly love Tarte. Um, they were one of the first brands that I started using when I started getting into more expensive makeup um, rather than just like drugstore stuff. So yeah, I like Tarte. And when you think about what you're getting, you get to you get to pick out products that will work for you shade wise, um, color wise, uh, finish wise, all of that. And you pay $63 before tax. It was $67 after tax for seven products, which means they are just under $10 a piece per product. That's a good deal in my opinion. You can see, I mean, I did spend like $134. Both bags can considered, but like it's a lot of stuff. The foundations alone, like I said, I would normally, if I was buying them full price, I would spend like 80 bucks on them. So it's really hard to complain. I, I like it. Uh, I think it's definitely worth it. I think at least maybe consider signing up for their mailing list. So that way when they do this, um, I think normally they do it around, they do it like in the spring or the summer and then they do it at Christmas time. So just think about it if you guys um, are interested. Yeah, it was a cool deal. Um, I'm sorry, I should have like recorded me like actually shopping. Next time if we do it, I probably will do that because Nikki says we have that capability. I'm just not aware of how to do it on my own. <laughs> and I was doing it on my phone and trying to buy quickly. So, so yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Uh, if you like the page, then you should subscribe to us because we're fun here. Um, I ramble a lot, but I, I try. I try so hard. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You have a happy Father's Day. Celebrate with the ones that you love. Stay safe and girly with a dark twist. <laughs>